today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on cushion foundations and to many people's surprise I have never used a cushion foundation ever I have seen online so many like mixed reviews some people love it some people hate it so today we are gonna give it a whirl I got two foundations well actually three because I'm an idiot and I ordered two from Amazon of the same one but technically we have two cushion foundations we have this western cushion foundation I don't know if L'Oreal is American or not so let's just call it western oh it says Paris I'm using the True Match Lumi Cushion and I bought the, oh this is dirty, the Misha's Magic Cushion which is pretty popular and very affordable. Um, it's pretty popular in Korea. This is the Western, Korean, Western. We're gonna do a little old school brawl up in this biatch. So I know a lot of people that are really into Korean beauty love this one. This is kind of like the standard, I guess like the first one you go ahead and try this cost me I think like about 10 bucks let me say that again this cost me about 10 bucks and I thought it was 20 because obviously I had two in my cart but I didn't realize it so I thought it was 20 bucks um, this one is I think it was like 15 or something like that when I saw it at Walgreens I was like Bleh. these drugstore foundations are getting expensive this shit was like 15 16 dollars this one was 10 bucks I was like if this one ends up being the winner so yeah anyways I do not have anything on my face right now I just have my brows on nothing else I'm gonna prime my face with a tried and true primer one that doesn't um, get all weird or like break up on my face break up the foundation on my face or anything and I'm just gonna do all steps besides foundation how I normally would I'm gonna set do my usual concealer that I know I love set my concealer with the powder I know works great and all that the only thing is different is that half of my face is gonna be the Misha's foundation and the other half is going to be the L'Oreal foundation let's see how this works out so I'm gonna put it on and have it on for a couple hours not really the entire day because it's kind of like the afternoon already so I'm gonna just have it until the nighttime and I'm gonna see if it works out because I'm also gonna eat Chipotle and if it passes the Chipotle test then we are in so for primer I'm just gonna use the Nivea men's post shave balm this is such an affordable uh, primer this I think was discovered by like by Nikki tutorials or something and it has high glycerin content and glycerin is smells like a boy it has a high glycerin content and um, setting spray like I know the max fix plus um, it's so good because it has a high glycerin content and um, it just helps the makeup just stick to your face so on the left side we're gonna do Misha's foundation this is exactly what you see as soon as you open up it has this little like uh, spongy thing which I've never used one of these before in my life they uh, do not feel like a beauty blender they feel I want to say more so like the real techniques beauty sponge so you open this up and this is what you see remove the sticker and this is what's in there um, I tried to get the closest match possible let's see let's hope and pray that I don't look like an orange cheeto or whatever or that I don't look um super pale I got it in the color 23 so I'm just going to press it in a little bit and it seems like really liquidy and it seems like it doesn't absorb into this little compact I looked into the mirror and I see this like super you guys can't really tell but it looks super weird like super fuzzy how come you can't look into this mirror is that the sticker oh I think it is hello okay all right now it's coming off all right all right so right off the bat I noticed that it feels my pores pretty good um, this is obviously a little bit too light for me but that's fine we're gonna go ham in some give me sun bronzer so and then 
this sponge i so far i don't like it uh it leaves a bunch of marks like circles as i go tapping 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 it leaves a circle and then tapping another circle like i feel i feel like i'm gonna want to go in with my beauty blender and just make sure that everything is okay but i really don't want to because i want to have like the full experience and also this hurts my hand this hurts I feel like I'm being so picky right now. Like, this hurts, this color, this, this. But honestly, like, this is hurting my hand. I'm like, both foundations claim to be uh, luminous and look bright on the skin. This does look, a, it looks pretty dewy. Look how pale I look on the left. Oh, my God. Oh my god this is so and this was i think their darkest shade or one of their darkest shades oh my god let's hope this oxidizes and doesn't look as pale as what it looks like right now because this looks pretty crazy it seems to cover the redness a pretty decent amount this does not have bad coverage um this is definitely not full coverage this is for sure, I want to say like a sheer coverage. And it's a bit tacky, but we'll give it a second as we go putting the other foundation on the other side. But it doesn't look as dewy as I thought it would. Oh my God, look how much paler I got on this side. Look at this. My mom's probably here. All right, let's go for the Lumi. Um, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna be white on this side and like I guess a regular ish color this one's on classic buff and I tried to see which color would be the closest to me but the puff feels the exact same so you see when you open it this one is definitely as soon as I go like this just a little tap the same pressure I used on the Misha's there is way more product on there. Ah, it's coming out. There's way more product on there. Way more. Oh, <laughs> this is, this seems to be a much closer match. Good thing I'm not doing much this um, evening, except just eating Chipotle, hang hanging out with my mom. Because if I had to go out like this. They both look dewy. Um, they're not full coverage. And I don't think they claim to be. Uh, L'Oreal Lumi's claimed to be buildable. Um, I do not see how it can be super buildable. Let me see. I have like a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I have a little bit of like redness there. Let me see if I can cover it up. And then I have freckles right here. I'm just pressing it into the skin. I still see a teeny bit of that redness, but it did cover it a little bit more than before. I'm going to go put the rest of my face on and then I'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys, so I just threw on a simple look. And I am excited to see how it wears and if I end up really liking it. But I do know that I do not like the little applicator thingies. This, I do not, I do not like this. I'll probably, if anything, if I do like the foundations, I'll end up using it with like a beauty blender and just kind of like dabbing it in there and putting it on my face. But yeah, I'm excited to see how it wears and I will let you guys know in a few hours. Bye. Okay. So, the final verdict. I don't consider them this like super dewy and luminous and just like glow from within type cushion foundation. Misha's does feel very thin, very watery, liquidy. Um, Lumi is much thicker. I imagine that this Lumi cushion foundation is literally the regular L'Oreal Lumi just put in a sponge, you know? I honestly really don't care for it being in a cushion. I really don't. I don't mind if it was in a bottle, on a cushion, whatever. I 
see no purpose in it being in this. I am more focused on the formula, like the the, qual the actual quality of the foundation, and I like it. I do like it. I feel like they're definitely not full coverage or like for like a night out unless you want something more sheer. So just keep in mind that these are sheer. These are not full coverage. The Lumi is a bit buildable it's not super buildable it's just a bit buildable even though if you put like another layer you still will see your freckles through it i hear my dogs outside and this one is absolutely like and the misha is absolutely not full coverage at all it is very 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 sheer this is just to give you like a little a little something on the face um so just keep that in mind with these foundations. I, I really don't mind the foundation at all for looks like this where I'm just doing something really simple, you know, or I'm doing like a more, like a natural look or something like that. I don't mind it at all. I obviously, if I wear something like this to go to work or anything like that, which let's be real, I do not wear makeup to go to work, but if I had to, um, I would definitely love using one of these foundations that are more sheer and they don't feel heavy. It doesn't feel heavy at all and that I love because I hate when foundations, you feel them. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like, you know when you, like, feel the foundation and you're like, I want to die right now. My face feels so, like, ugh. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this quick little review on both foundations. And if you guys have any cushion foundations that you feel like you've personally tried and you think that I would love, if you think it's more coverage or more dewy or whatever it is, comment down below and let me know. I definitely am dying to try out new products. I always am open to trying out different things. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. Bye. What are you looking at, Naka? Coming home, coming home. Where's my moon, you?